Sounds good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bring our attention back to our final presentation of the day. We're going to start with the pros. We're going to hear about personal data. Very kindly uh, topic. Please give them a warm welcome. I'm Ethan, this is Adam, Ethan, that's Alan, that's Elizabeth, and that's Brett. Today we're going to propose personal data. Um, collection of personal data originated in the early 1970s in Europe, where a large amount of data processing was going on, which allowed for lots of data to be stored in mainframes and administration for businesses and government things. In the wake of revelations that the government has collected large amounts of digital data, we will be arguing that the government should not change its guidelines on personal data. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, on personal data. Um, so, personal data is really just it, it's so much information encompassed in one group, and really it's just it's been, it's been around for as long as people have been keeping this sort of information about themselves. So, our scenario is the government, and like we all kind of know the government is looking at our data on the internet and all over the world. We don't really exactly know what they're looking at. So, we're trying to we're going to be arguing for information from which points of view can speak about you and what you think. The local government uses personal data in order to ensure um, the security of citizens and find out evidence for crime and drug cases. Many of these examples are phone recordings, text records, and GPS technology. All three of these examples are private unless you have an award. The first example are phone recordings. In 2015, the local government police Listened in on um, listened in on the victim of a car smashing and was able to find their location based on the phone calls. They were able to arrest him accordingly. The second example is text records. Local government police are able to use these text records for physical evidence um, for cyberbullying and threat cases. The third example is GPS technology. Local police are able to use the location services and able to locate victims and suspects to be able to but this number is the total number of victims by the state of In 2013, the doctor announced that they had been affected by one of the largest, by the largest state of each generation. It affected three billion people. Uh, last month, Facebook was hacked, uh, which was announced. Later, we had expected they quickly opened the public in 2012. They uh, stated that at some point in the future, they would be hacked. Uh, if the U.S. government uh, was hacked, all 300 million people who used a lot of their sensitive information, so the credit cards, the debit cards, and the security numbers, the bathrooms, the emails, and the address. Because companies also use personal data, the government creates laws to make sure that this information cannot be misused. One of the major laws used is the Federal Trade Commissioner, or the FTC. The FTC makes sure that people cannot misuse data and this information cannot be used for them. An example of this law in use is when an app company tries to make their app, they make them download other apps with that app. So they would download the app, and then they would ask, would download ads to the phone. The FTC realized this was happening and sued this company for $16,000. These laws make sure information cannot be misused like this again. Data privacy. There has been many issues with data privacy with the government. The government has constantly been collecting data on the U.S. citizens. Um, there's been a study shown by Harvard saying that only 14% of Americans know that their search history is being shared with third parties. And personal data is a, the collection of it is a multi-billion dollar industry. And one of the biggest companies is Axiom. 
they have bragged of at least 1,500 pieces of information on 200 million, over 200 million Americans. There's just no way we can stop this. Now, when it comes to the government and what they take information, of course, like anything else, there are regulations involved. Now, there is no national law, but there are sectoral laws that they follow very materially. An individual's information is not allowed to be taken without a warrant. If, whenever they get a warrant, it is issued by the FIS. An individual, when a warrant is taken and their information is being collected, their information is not allowed to be shared with other organizations unless the individual is under the law. Unless the individual's authority is advised and shared out under the law, the individual's information has the individual is allowed to know their information based on to keep the information accurate and updated regularly. Now, when it, an individual's information is not allowed to be shared with other companies unless that they can guarantee that the person's information will be protected. And then, not all information can be shared. It can, Information is considered too sensitive to be shared. It is not allowed to be, unless under the most extreme conditions. Now, in order to get a warrant, a person has to go into the FISA courts. They are they mostly work with the NSA and the FBI, and they look through these cases to the maximum of their abilities to make sure that the information will be used properly. And as soon as the court case is done, and as soon as all, all the information is no longer needed, they should be. According to the NSA, the NSA uh, collects uh, positive information, some of it restricted uh, under, uh, less under extreme circumstances. But under most circumstances, they look at text messages, uh, social media accounts, uh, and then who you talk to and what you're connected to and what you like and what you dislike. And then uh, businesses might collect uh, your interests, your hobbies, and other things that you like doing your personal life in order to Snapchat is one of the most popular and well-known social media applications of modern technology. With over 158 million different users and 2.8 million pictures being sent from one device to another every single day. Create an account. You have to enter in your email address, phone number, full name, and date of birth. Additionally, you can view wherever your friends are at any given time if they allow Snapchat to view their location. All of this personal data, along with every single text, phone call, and picture you take using an application like this, is protected by little more than a single password at times, and yet over 158 million different people have agreed to give up their data to the owners of companies like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, etc. My point is that the American citizenry should be less concerned with the NSA surveillance policies because the majority of the public, and I'm going to assume the majority of people in this room, have already given up that privacy to companies like Snapchat. One of the only real differences between the collection of data by either the NSA or Team Snapchat is that the latter doesn't promise to use your information for the sake of national security and anti-terrorism methods. There's nothing that I
things if you're ever traveling there and you kind of notice that people looking on Amazon or something will notice that some of the things you've been looking at they'll show up on other websites and they'll just mark directly at you. And you may be wondering, you know, how did they you know, find out exactly what they're looking for next? It's because they're taking trends, like they're taking your age, your address, like where you live, uh, things you've been previously looking at, and they're storing that information so they can effectively market it. So many people think that's kind of spying, and people are just not very really happy with that. To wrap up our statement, the government takes our information in order to protect the citizens, whether or not it's locally or nationally, and it makes sure that no matter where you put your information, there's some type of rules and regulations that somebody has to follow. When it comes to Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, your information is protected and safe. And it's done and taken in order so that we can live here and feel safe and know that we don't have it. So, in conclusion, um, personal data is it's just an absolutely massive deal with a lot of risks that come with So, when you put your information out there on the internet, you kind of give up almost all of your privacy so people can just spread it and prove they have this real deep web. Um, so, what we would suggest is that government put regulations so that companies have to show you exactly what they're taking and exactly what's being shared with you know, to make your head more comfortable. This is for either group. Um, what's, what law allows the government to give information on? Snapchat, Instagram, and like anything online, can they just do they know where you live or what you do for a living? You put that in there. You, know, you enter it on the social media, obviously. Put that in your. Okay. Also, when you also look at what you follow, uh, and then they'll send certain uh, ads to you. That will also. Uh, if you tag on where you are and you post like your Instagram and you mark where you are in a New York City or a landmark, you can also follow that and then you can search it and then uh, you can do that. So this is for the cons. One of you said that Facebook knew the hack was inevitable. Why did, how did they know that and why didn't they stop that? Um, I think when you're a company of that size, that means your product, um, it's kind of you know what's going to happen. I don't think things get high quality. Thank you. This is for either side. Do you know if the government has laws over the companies that own the different apps? Because anything you post go belongs to the apps, to the companies of the apps themselves. But does the government have any control over those companies themselves? They do because of the FTC. Because of the FTC Act. Federal Trade Commission Act. It makes sure it regulates the company. And want to see how they use the data. I want one. Okay. Um, come on, is doing this research making change anything about your own 